What if some of the greatest ideas in human history never made it? Not because they failed, but because they were buried, silenced, hidden from you. In this episode of Curious Verse, we uncover the dark side of innovation, where progress meets censorship, where science is shut down not by failure, but by fear. Fear of power shifts, fear of control, fear that someone might change too much, too fast. Today, we reveal five real technologies that were almost erased, not by nature, but by decision. Political, corporate, intentional. This is not science fiction. This is our history, rewritten. And it starts now. Welcome to Curious Verse, where science meets the shadows and stories long buried rise again. Our first dive is acid, literally, LSD. It's 1954, a gleaming lab in California. Psychiatrist Sidney Cohen administers microdoses to chronic alcoholics. To everyone's shock, patients who never spent a single night sober go weeks without a drink. Artists hear colors sing. Mathematicians watch formulas dance. A cure for depression, PTSD, and addiction seems possible. But the experiment slips beyond clinic walls and onto the streets of San Francisco. The U.S. government, fearing protests and Soviet mind games, strikes back. In 1966, LSD is branded a public threat. Funding evaporates. Medical journals reject papers. Labs shudder. Almost half a century later, MAPS researchers revive the molecule. Inside fMRI scanners and under strict protocols, a single session erases wartime trauma. How many years of healing were lost? And who profited from the silence? Now we turn the key on a force powerful enough to light the planet, yet nearly extinguished by fear. Nuclear energy. Its energy density is thousands of times greater than coal. It produces zero carbon emissions during generation and with just a handful of uranium, it powers entire cities. In the 1970s, scientists promised a clean energy revolution. But then came Three Mile Island, then Chernobyl, then Fukushima. One disaster after another turned caution into global phobia. Wealthy nations canceled projects. Labs shut down. Research stalled. Today, we have modular micro-reactors, small enough to fit inside a shipping container, smart enough to shut themselves down, clean enough to leave no carbon behind. But these innovations face more than engineering challenges. They hit a wall of red tape, bureaucracy, fossil fuel lobbying, and a public imagination still haunted by mushroom clouds. And while the world hesitates, 40% of global CO2 emissions still come from power plants that nuclear could replace. One country, however, never looked back. France has used nuclear fission to power most of its grid since the 1980s. Low emissions, stable prices, decades of results. So ask yourself, is it luck? Or proof that we've been afraid of the wrong thing all along? Because if fear can silence an energy source, what happens when it's not atoms we're splitting, but human genes? We leave the atom and enter the code of life. CRISPR, a molecular scalpel that slices DNA with surgical precision, promises to erase inherited disease, cure lethal anemias, even stop certain cancers before they begin. In 2012, Jennifer Doudna shows the world the tool headlines scream, genetic revolution. Within five years, lawmakers strike back. Designer babies, modern eugenics, runaway mutation. A regulatory quilt takes shape, research on human embryos nearly banned in the US, a scandal over edited babies in China, rules that flip every election in Europe. Scientists push back warning that children dying today could be saved tomorrow. Pharma hesitates to invest billions while approvals wobble. Families race the genetic clock while governments decide whether to open or bolt shut the door to the future. Every tick of that clock holds a life in suspense, 
waiting on a decree that may vanish with the next administration. Sparks of hope ignite in underground trials, sickle cell reversed, blindness corrected, tumors melted. Yet fear still writes the bigger headline. Is it ethical caution or paralysis? History shows that when humanity panics, progress pauses. But if CRISPR stalls, so does the chance to heal millions. And remember, fear already silenced a power that could light the planet. If it now muzzles the code that writes us, what will happen when we chase energy not from the nucleus of an atom, but from the vacuum of space itself? Stick with us, because in the next chapter, we reach for the edge of physics. Imagine this, the light you feel on your skin left the sun eight minutes ago, yet fusion at its core proves, every second, that limitless power is possible. Two light atoms collide, unleash colossal heat, leave almost no waste. That is the holy grail of energy. 2021, Jet in the UK sets a record. December 2022, Lawrence Livermore's National Ignition Facility announces ignition, more energy out than in. Still critics laugh, 30 years away for 30 years. Every technical delay becomes a meme, budgets shrink, top engineers migrate to AI startups. Either in France, a tokamak in China, a stellarator in Germany. Giants that promise near-infinite electricity if given time and patience. Meanwhile, theorists whisper about zero-point energy, the quantum sea rippling through empty space. Patents by Townsend Brown and Casimir scale experiments vanish into classified drawers before peer review. Why? Oil still fuels trillion-dollar economies. A reactor that runs clean for decades threatens any business model built on scarcity. And scarcity, we know, is hard currency in markets and politics. If profit sets the clock on progress, maybe physics was never the problem. Fear already muted a power that could light the planet. If it now muzzles the quantum vacuum, what breakthrough will be locked away next? Stick around, because in the next block, we expose the cycle that keeps innovation in chains. Look closely. Every breakthrough hits the same four-part trap. Risk, real or imagined, triggers sirens. Lobbyists, guardians of old empires, arrive with checkbooks. Punitive rules coil like barbed wire around progress, and funding evaporates, afraid of the long tomorrow. First, the headlines thunder, danger at the door. Then boardrooms fertilize politics with cash. Laws promise safety, but choke roots. Investors retreat, fearing the harvest won't come before the quarterly call. A decade later, where forests of discovery should rise, there is sand. Machines rust beneath a sky that never saw their light, yet under the dust, seeds still wait. Next we follow one seed, a prototype daring the world to watch it grow. Will the cycle slam shut again? Or will a green shoot finally break the crust? Imagine a different script. A small startup builds a micro-reactor that powers 100 homes for 10 years, without a single refueling. But instead of patents and secrecy, it shares everything. Open source safety schematics, sensors that tweet their temperature every hour, licenses that anyone can audit. Phase one, bench tests live streamed, verified by independent universities. Phase two, a village scale pilot, monthly town halls where residents vote on public dashboards showing performance, safety, emissions. The system learns, and adapts, not by hiding its flaws, but by exposing them in real time. Phase three, conditional approval. If anything goes wrong, the reactor shuts down automatically and publishes a public report within seconds. It's not about eliminating fear. It's about calibrating trust. Because if radiation of all things can be managed through transparency, why not CRISPR? Why not therapeutic psychedelics? Why not the next invention someone's building in a garage right now? Maybe the real innovation isn't the reactor, maybe it's this shift. From hiding 
to sharing, from control to collaboration. Suddenly, regulation stops being a wall that halts ideas and becomes a bridge where society and science walk forward together. And as we cross that bridge, one question waits on the other side. We've reached the end of this journey, but the debate has only begun. Every breakthrough carries the seed of disruption, and disruption breeds fear. When fear joins hands with vested interests, curiosity is the first to die. Silence can cost decades of progress, millions of lives, and a habitable planet. But when truth speaks, the future starts breathing again. Subscribe to Curious Verse. Hit the bell. Share this video with someone who believes certain questions shouldn't be asked. Here, questions are fuel, and the fact that you're still here means there's still time to rewrite the story being silenced right now. In the pinned comment, you'll find open studies for each technology. Read, question, investigate. Now, tell us, which innovation do you believe is being buried today? Your voice might be the next chapter in this universe.